Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Enderwall. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you're to join me today in a dungeon that previously was impenetrable. For right now it's not. The game didn't crash last episode and we came over here. We had been here very, very... Uh, we had been very close to here a while back. What is that? Oh, it's a crystal golem. No, it's an ice elemental. I don't get it. Is it crystal elemental? Because a crystal golem makes sense. A crystal elemental doesn't, so it probably is crystal elemental. Not this one. This one is a nice one. <gasps> Can we get leveling up a bunch? Uh, let's go with the health. Yeah, that was that's crazy, because last episode we leveled up. And uh, that was the last one, wasn't it? Well, this place is prime for, for a trap or something like that. Very shiny down here. You can see the... The HDR changing. And of course, it's not real HDR. But, you know. Well, I say it's not real HDR. But then again, TV HDR is not real HDR. <laughs> it's just the... Uh, it's just the same name. I mean, I say it real HDR. Again, I say real HDR, but what is it? The original thing that people called HDR in, photograph in photography? It's, a f it's kind of an interesting phenomenon. I know how to make it in photos. I never actually made it. Assassin Hood right there. That sounds interesting. What is it? Do I have one? Uh, bows do more damage. I don't have one. What's that? Uh, sneak is better. Nope, I need bows do more damage. I don't need my sneak to be better. My sneak is the best as it is. Oh, come on. So basically, HDR is done in photos if you take three photos with different... Uh, you need to take three photos with different, uh, I think it is aperture settings, but I, it might not just be the aperture settings. I don't remember exactly. Uh, I think it is aperture settings. No, it's not. It can't be. Because uh, that would change the photo itself. Uh, it's it's exposure time. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, exposures. Uh, and then you mix them. Uh, Photoshop actually has a feature or a head of feature uh, that mixes it automatically, which is pretty amazing. But when it first started be doing, it was all manual, and you need to change the, like the curves. This is gonna be amazing. Oh, they don't see me. No, well, they don't. They did damage, and they don't see me. How's that going? Okay, I'm gonna bet this guy needs two arrows. I'm gonna bet that guy over there. He's gonna take one. Hi. They, they don't see me. I don't know how I killed it. My God, I killed it. I killed it. And then you, you know, you just superimpose the pictures onto each other and you make HDR. Pretty looking uh, pictures that change the lightning in ways that are basically meant to uh, mimic our vision. In video games, actually in rendering, so not even televisions, HDR has a different meaning. So, mm, this is all new, nice. So what happened? Ooh, this is not good. It's gonna hurt me, isn't it? When I do that. Don't hurt me. I'm nice. And soft. Okay. Um, invisible wall? No, this is not Dark Souls. <laughs> um, so basically what happens in, in rendering is that in video games, including this one, including this one, the difference between very high lighting and uh, very dark spaces um, is too little. Uh, or actually, uh, sorry, not like that. The difference between not very high lighting, excuse me, and not very dark spaces is too great. So what happens is this is not too light, but it is white. So if you have lighter than this, if you had a sun over there, you wouldn't be able to make it brighter than that because it's already too bright. And the same goes for that. That's not too dark. It's almost black, but it's not too dark. It's, there's things that could be darker, but not in this scene. So what happens is, uh, in traditional rendering, uh, in video games specifically, and for this is all for performance reasons, it's a spell book that I haven't read before, I'm pretty sure. The boon thing? Let's see. Oh, it's not here. Let's go over here. We have a, a lot of spell books right now. Yep. Boon rank 4. It's the second rank 4 that we have. Nice. And we have a Starling Kuras that I don't need. And we have a Fireball rank 3. That we also don't have. 38 points of damage. It's not too much. It's like an arrow. Some Starling arrows. It's nice to have. Even though I pro 
probably not going to use them. I mean, I still have a bow. But still. Anyway. Yeah, that thing is primed to kill me. I'll kill myself in a little bit. So basically what happens in traditional rendering is that they sort of super... Uh, the, the rendering itself and the video games sort of super expose all the scenes to make them look anywhere close to reality. The hell? That was Arcane Fever. Why? Why? Okay, I did that. And I didn't die. Oh! Is that... No, that's just a lamp. That's supposed to be a lamp. And I'm pretty sure it's, like, made with assets from the game. Um... Oh, boy. So what they do in rendering is actually change the way lighting works to overcompensate for that exposure in, like, real-life renders. Free renders, I should say. Real-life renders. Free renders, I mean. Those guys don't know where I'm at. And that's why pre-renders sometimes look very good and other times don't. And it's all because of the lighting and the, the compensation that they have for the lighting. So... The, 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 basically, video games don't work with the realistic lighting. They actually superexpose everything to make sure it doesn't take too many resources. Because calculating a lighting from 0 to 2 is very, very easy. Uh, for 0 to 20, sorry, not for 0 to 2, for 0 to 20. But going from like 0 to 2000, or maybe even more of all the, ni the light units that you can have, that takes a lot of... Ooh, grounding rank 4. Man, we're getting a lot of stuff here takes a lot of resources. So that's why you can pre-render, but not real-time render. Televisions are a different thing, though. And I don't know why they call it HDR, to be honest. Because they shouldn't. But I haven't read any criticisms of the naming, so I can't really... I'm shooting way too high, but it's kind of on purpose. I think I'm... I think I might actually be shooting way too low. I don't know. That's a shot. That's a kill. Save the game, because these things crash my game, I think. Oh my god, this place is so easy to get a trap. Because the I think these things in the in, in Skyrim, they can have uh, like blades that come out of the floor and just sort of kill you. Not kill you, but they do a lot of damage, so it's kind of nasty. So just sort of associate that with that. Okay. And of course, we have all these guys, all green. That that was the same thing we saw with the other tiger, the greenness of them, or the thing. That's that's from the same thing that creates these. We've heard of this before. Oh my god, there's so many things here. Am I being attacked from the back? No. Good. Hi. Because I could be, and that was dangerous. So HDR televisions is a different thing. Because what it does is, uh, like, for example, let's look at this scene over here. Uh, actually, let me put like this. The brightness over here is compromised by the brightness over there in a the television. So, basically, if you make it too bright, like, if you change the brightness of a television, this thing is going to become, become brighter, right? But this thing is going to become brighter as well. And what HDR does in televisions... And it works really, really well if well done. I, I really like the look. Is they uh, have specific parts of the screen separated from each other. And they have like a grid of parts like this, and then this, and then this. Of course, the parts are smaller, or tend to be smaller. Like good, good HDR screens have like 300, 400 parts. Or they have, they have a name for it, so that people don't really understand what, what they are. What they are. Because fancy names sell better than things that be... Oh, it's that. Okay. Um, but... Oh, there's a boat in here. Interesting. And uh, what they do is they change the lighting of specific parts of the screen. Or the, you know, brightness, I should say. Let's say lighting, lighting, but it's brightness. Uh, so that they can compensate for the really bright stuff. And the... Uh, and the really dark stuff. And that's why HDR... If you've ever seen one, you might actually have one. Uh, but if you've never... If you don't have one, which is most likely, because they're not, you know, they're expensive, 
and you have to have games that support it, I think. Um, I suppose there might be patches for it or something, I don't know. Um, you, um, if you've never seen one, go to a shop if you have the chance and see one. If it is a decent one, so don't go for the really cheapos, because those are crap. As you can imagine, if the bigger the, the the parts of the screen, the the worse the effect. And I think there is this wasn't even locked. That's how that's how protected this is supposed to be. Because I think there. Yes, I didn't see you there. Okay, let's get very close and shoot you, you destructive jerk. Off you go. Okay, and then also. Interestingly enough, stopped my time stop, even though I had another thing. Okay, so what is this thing? Just a birdie. Okay. I can live with birdie. Yeah, so yeah, go to a shop and uh, see one of the really expensive HDR screens in, on a demo. It's crazy. It is so... real. It's like a, a window. It's freaking, it's freaking amazing. What was that? What? That's not an enemy. That is an enemy. He knows I'm here, but we haven't seen one of them. Or have we? They're not very well programmed. They're probably not programmed at all. They're just... Is an automaton supposed to be programmed? I don't know. But I'm glad that I'm here because there's a magical symbol. Still, my objective is to reach 50 before the end of the game. I think that that would be... That would be pretty good. 50 out of 100, of course. So, I don't think I've been here. And, of course, I need to go through that other gate on the other side. Don't worry. And the reason why I don't think I've been here is because this guy's making noise. Okay. Four. Okay, we definitely haven't been here, and this might actually be where we're supposed to go. So there's a gate over there that I'm gonna open, and then I'm just not gonna need to go. I'm gonna need to go back to the other one. But that shouldn't be a problem. And of course, there's the other side. That actually, that actually has enemies. This one might as well. Lots of gates. What? What in... Conjured Guardian. Interesting. Spirit is aggressive. Okay, okay. Nice. That was a miss, you idiot. That was not. It's interesting how I could hypothetically use the arrows as pointers and just say, Hey, go over there to the enemies. And they go and they die because I shoot again. Because they go where the arrows go because that's where they hear the sound. Of course, after that, I suppose they look at me. I'm not really sure how the AI works regarding that. Okay, get all that. Get only that. And only this. But there's things back there. Okay. That's a strong... Arcane fever spot. Didn't die. Or get burned. Okay, I think we need to open... Well, uh, it's reasonable to assume we're gonna need to open the... Um, all the levers. What a crazy place. So many cells. And there's... I'm not even sure they are cells, because... Oh, what the... Because they have, th like, 
plastic skeletons and these the two the things whatever they ca they're called butcher of arc let's take that because it's fairly expensive i don't need the wine okay i think this is fairly safe and this is the entrance isn't it no i hear something yeah this is the entrance let's go this way I got you already. I went over there. I got that already. Okay. Nope. I'm mistaken. Okay, I, I went over there, but I'm gonna go this way because I didn't come this way. Uh, I thought I thought that place was gonna be the um, that other gate. So this is the entrance, and this is that other gate. Okay. So this does nothing, which is surprising. Not even arcane fever, which you'd expect it to do some like that. This is our objective, and there's someone in there, probably an enemy, because it looked very mean. It's usually how you can tell enemy from foe. Does look mean. It is enemy. If it is. If it does. So I'm going this way first. I bet there's a lever. I wonder if the levers that we activated, one of them, actually opened the, the gate that we opened. Or that was open already. That was terrible. I think we're gonna be okay. That hit. Did he come down here? He was coming down here. Okay. Whew. Safety. For relative safety. Okay, so I want your arrows, and then the rest of the stuff doesn't really matter. No lever. No arcane magic. That's a lever? It is. That sucks, actually. Okay. This is good news. Good. Get out. Ooh. Okay. So three levers activated. <laughs> and a little jewelry box up here. Ah. I don't have 97 lockpicks anymore. There we go with that. And a ruby. It's good stuff. Okay, so that means, that means we've explored everything. Oh, well, I'm surprised by, by my efficiency here. Oh, it does open these things. Cool. Okay. The guy didn't come this way, did he? Holly, I'll take it. That's an enemy, isn't it? Hi. Oh, you jerk. See? I got time stop. And you don't. Or you d maybe you do, but you you suck at it, so... Hey, don't hit me. There we go. Didn't even know what hit him. I mean, probably had a clue about it, but... Still. It's gotta look really cool. Run or die. What? What? That's kind of cool. Let's see how much die I get. Whoa. 
I get like four or five. Man. It's really bad. Well, I can run. I can actually stop the time, but I don't know if that helps me. Let's see. It's not a very... It's not a very amazing thing, to be honest. Hey. Excuse me. Oh, crap. Oh! Well, the, 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 hmm. that'll teach me, that'll teach me to think that at the end of, a, right? I mean, it's not too, it's not too much to ask to have somebody at the end of a dungeon to talk to you and tell you, oh, you have come upon my domain, you shall now die. Why? Did I cast time stop? I mean, I did press G. Yeah. Let's kill this guy. He doesn't know where I'm at. He's got a really nice bow, all red and stuff. He had a really nice bow. Yeah, if only I were a little bit more murderous of instinct, I wouldn't have had to die. One hit kill also, and I'm full health. Adept books for sneak, and we got some assassin shoes of deviousness for extra sneak. Uh, we have some boots of the tribunal for some magic. Uh, might be a reference to Morrowind there. Uh, Echo of the Fallen for some magic, and... Uh, some bows do more damage there for light armor. Heart of the North. Mm -hmm. And a really cool looking bow that does 8 points of fire damage. Heat targets start burning and take damage over time as well, so that's amazing. And a really cool sword. And some bows. All really nice stuff. Let's see if I want any of it. Sort by type. So, in terms of amulets, I'm good with the bows. Because really damage is what I do. So, I think, I think I'm good there. In terms of armor, I have the Heart of the North, so I have that already, which is pretty nice. Uh, and that's basically that, because that's only, really the only thing I want from any of these. Then in terms of circulates, circulates, sure, these are head gear. None of them actually add to, um, to bow damage, so who, who cares. Silent Step of the Tracker, that does 9 uh, stealth, or 9 sneak, and also does, does all the nice things. So what I need is sneak 12%, that's nice. That is not what I got, though. Parian boots. Yeah, those are probably going to be dropped. I'll look into the drops in a little bit. Uh, Footprints of the Well-Traveled One. Those do sneak as well. They're not that fantastic. Echo of the Fallen. Uh, and that's... We got the Boots of the Tribunal. And we got the this one in particular. Uh, so those are pretty good. The extra sneak is really nice. I'll go with that. I'll go with that. They also look kind of nice. Maybe not as nice as these, though. I like I like these. They look pretty nice. I like the, the leather. Um, then we have hands. Uh, we're basically using two of the things that I have. I'm glad. Because these are bracers. I don't get it. Just let it be. Don't mess with it. Uh, and then on the head, we got this for bow. And that's probably going to be what I'm going to stick with. Block more... Uh, wild mage hoods that don't do anything are very expensive. Uh, and then I have the rings, which I am just sticking to the eagle eye over there. And everything else is good to go. Got some interesting stuff elsewhere. Pickpocket. Eh. It's all good. And then I also have the shadow thing. And a medium backpack that I will replace eventually. But for right now, let's just drop the crap that I don't need. Pr probably gonna start with, with, uh, with food in a little bit. So, these poisons don't matter, the wine doesn't matter, uh, arcane of, uh, don't, don't need that. Also, yeah, I got some books. Uh, Quicksilver, or don't need, need to remember that. Some dolls, uh, what's my, yeah. Scroll of Soul Trap, kinda probably I'm gonna need. Fortify Entropy, 
Yeah, that's mm, it's getting it's getting higher. It's getting up there, isn't it? So ingredients. I need books. I need uh, consumables. That's the one. So I'm gonna eat all of my stuff. Yeah. Just eat all the things. And all the crusty bread. It's not gonna do much. It's not all that heavy. Hmm. Well, I have a po well. We need we need to get out of here. So it's not too bad. We have a Pyrian cube. That weighs nothing. We also have potions that allow us to um, to walk faster. So it's not going to be too bad. Just look around a little bit. And uh, we'll sell all the things. Huge, huge coins over here. Absolutely enormous. <laughs> those are not coins, those are platters. 72 of them. And uh, we have some uh, potions of amazingness. But not really. And that's that. We got to the end. But our victim didn't really talk. Anyway, that's going to be that for today. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Enderol. I don't know how to, we can go back, but teleport is definitely going to be it, because that thing looks pretty dangerous. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next episode, where I'm a little bit faster, hopefully. And also, my cape is all weird. Bye!